Hello and welcome to the first lesson on time series analysis. So in this lesson we're going to cover forecasting with the uh, moving average method and then we'll look at how to break a time series down into its constituent uh, components. So to begin, well first you're going to need the package TTR for this one. So uh, install that package and then load it with the uh, library command. Next you're going to want to read in the uh, example data set. So that's the time series of closing stock prices by day that's uh, in your notes. Now I've already got that written in here. Uh, just make sure that you note that that uh, data set does not have a row of headers. So you're going to want to set header equals false. So we bring up that example. You can see we have the two columns and the first one indexes the day and then the second column indexes the closing price. Now this is an array but what we want to do is we need to, uh, for time series analysis, we're not going to work so much with the uh, vectors but we need to uh, convert those vectors into a time series object. So we're going to take this uh, row here, this column here, which is all of our time series values, and then we're going to convert it into a time series object. So I'm going to give that a name. I'm going to call it ETS for example time series. And that'll get the value time series of this uh, second column of our data frame. So here I take all the values in the second column. That itself is a vector. And then I use this command, time series here, to actually convert it into a time series object. Now hit enter, and you can see this ETS is now a time series. So we can create a quick plot of our time series using this plot.ts command and put in our time series and take a look at that. So that is a plot over time of our uh, daily closing stock prices. Now the idea is that we want to fit um, a moving average model to that data and try to use that to forecast uh, the stock price uh, or whatever your time series might be. So it's very easy to fit a moving average model with this uh, TTR library here. The command is uh, simply SMA for simple moving average. So suppose we wanted to fit a moving average of length 5, well we type E, well, let's give it the name ETSMA5, give it the value SMA, and we're fitting that to our example time series, and it has length 5. Hit enter, and you can see now you've created, uh, this is your moving average model. You can print those values, and you have them here, right? Right, there's four first ones are null because... Uh, it's a moving average of length 5, so you get your uh, smoothed time series here. And you could um, plot that using the time series plot command. Uh, oops, I forgot the ETS at the beginning. Try that again. Right, so here's a plot of your um, simple moving average smoothed um, uh, model for the uh, example time series. Notice that it only starts at the time equal to 5. Now suppose we wanted to um, create a moving average model of like 15. Well all we have to do is type ETS, you know, well, let's call it ETS moving average 15. We use that SMA command, put in our time series and let n equal 15. Now we have fitted a moving average of uh, length 15. So this one, of course, would be uh, smoother than the uh, MA5 model. So if you were to plot that, right, so it's smoother. And again, it's going to start at the time 15. Now, what if you wanted to plot uh, a time series and its fitted moving average model on the same axis? Well, we can do that. I'll, first, let's plot our time series along with the uh, moving average 5 model. So I'm going to create an object. I'll call it MTS for multiple time series. Now, all I have to do 
is bind those two time series together, our original one, ETS, and our other one, our moving average of length 5. Now I've bound those two time series together. You can see the object here is a time series, but there's two of them. Then I can use my plot.time series command. So I put plot.ts. I'm plotting this multiple time series. Now I have to use this plot.type equals s, or lowercase s. And then I'll color uh, the two different time series. I'll color the first one black and the second one red. So hit enter. Now you have a plot uh, comparing your original data, the black line, with the fitted uh, moving average 5 model. If you wanted to, say, plot the MA5 and the MA15 on the same axis, you could uh, you know, do something similar. Let's call it multiple time series 2. Now I'm just going to see bind the example time series, the moving average 5 model, and the moving average 15 model. And then I will use my plot.time series command and just change that to MTS2. And let's make the third time series blue. Hit enter. And you can compare them side by side. So you can see the, the more points you use in your moving average, the smoother your model is going to fit the data, right? So remember the whole idea with using a uh, moving average is to uh, create a forecast for the next time period. Remember the forecast for the next time period is um, the last value of your fitted model. So in our data here, we have stock data for looks like 30 days. So what we're trying to do is predict the closing price of the stock on day 31. So if we were using our MA5 model, uh, our forecast is simply the last value of our MA5. So um, our forecast for the MA5 is like I was saying, just the MA5 fitted model and we're just going to select up the last value, right? It's 30 entries. Hit enter. And our forecast is 32.95, right? So that would be your predicted stock value on day 31. If you were to, um, say, forecast using your MA15, you would just, again, take the last value of your MA15 model. and you get 33.63. So that's how you would forecast a time series um, using a simple moving average, right? You fit that moving average model, and then the last value is your forecast for the next period. Now, suppose we wanted to calculate uh, the mean square error for a time series. Maybe we're, we're compa uh, comparing uh, some time series and want to see which one fit the data more accurately. Then we will, um, well, I'll copy and paste over um, a script that you could use to do that. 